Today I will show you what you need to do if you want to port your project um, from Unity 2017 to Unity 2018 and use the lightweight render pipeline. So we need some things to do. The first thing is we need to update the renderer, we need to update materials, we need to update the lighting and maybe the post-processing if you use any. I will cover the post-processing in a complete new video because uh, this is the new post-processing um, that will follow after the post-processing stack. So the first thing you need to do is you need to download Unity 2018, install it and open your project. So Unity will automatically change everything you have in your project and change it so that you use the Unity 2018 version. The next thing you have to do is you go to Window Package Manager because this package manager is completely new in Unity and it will show you all the packages that you have currently installed. If you click on all, you can see all the packages you can install. So there's no need to use the asset store to get the official Unity um, packages. And the packages um, can update independently from the Unity version. So this is a main benefit of using this package manager. So you have to go to Lightwide Renderer pipeline if you're using Unity uh, mobile games and if you're making PC or high-end uh, games you need a high-definition renderer. So I go for the Lightweight Renderer, click install and wait a minute. And this is what it looks like. The Lightweight Renderer is installed and uh, one thing that confuses me up front was that the post-processing for example is one entry here you can install it uh, to have the post-processing effects and uh, shader graph as well but as soon as you choose one of the renderer you already got the shader graph and the post processing because they are included into the light red renderer so do not install this one do not install the shader graph um, i will make a separate video about these two um, as soon as you have the light red renderer you have everything you need so, so the renderer is one of the main things you have to change and you will automatically uh, have a new rendering engine you go to create rendering and you have a light white pipeline asset so you create the asset um, there are some things you can um, specify here we will go um, to it in a second so let me first go to project settings and graphics and drag and drop the renderer pipeline asset to the slot which is new in unity 2018 and you will see the scene looks completely pink which is cool if you want to make a pink game but this is not cool if you want to have your old game running so you go to edit render pipeline and then you have two different options so you can upgrade materials to light white materials and upgrade selected materials to light white materials this is the second step i mentioned you have to uh, edit every and each and every material so uh, this is a help from unity click on it click proceed and all your materials which are 160 in my case are upgraded so unfortunately this uh, does not work in any case for example here my soldier um, wasn't updated I don't know why uh, it doesn't work so good I guess because the soldier has a separate material or a separate shader on it. So um, here you see it's a shader made for the specific model and I guess only the standard or the, the particle uh, shader will be modified. So you just go to light white pipeline and choose one of these. So if you have a terrain you should use a terrain renderer. If you have a particle system you should use the, this one and you use a physical based shader uh, in every, any other case and there we go our soldier is back everything looks fine um, here there is a default material attached the default material doesn't work anymore um, as soon as you create anything you have to assign a proper material I will make it a bread block and that's all for the materials so the last thing we have to do is just uh, check the lighting and camera, this is uh, optional, 
but you will get some new warnings that some things are not supported. For example, uh, the real pay, uh, real time, the ambient mode on real time is not supported. Uh, it will be baked automatically if you use a new shader. Um, the lighting mode um, is not supported. And if you go to the camera, you see some warnings as well. For example, uh, HDR rendering is disabled and late weight light white pipeline asset, uh, disable it and there we go. We have completely modified our, our system uh, and our scene. We are now here. Um, if you have some issues with the lighting because the scene uh, is generally a little bit darker, uh, you should definitely check the skybox material that is still uh, that it's still uh, default skybox or the skybox material you had before that you can um, play a little bit with the um, skybox intensity uh, multiplier that will help and and you should go to the directional light and see if you can modify here some values like the intensity to make it a little bit brighter so that it's just looking in the same way it was before you upgrade. So, and that's it. You have the light white um, renderer. You have some benefits with it. You have a new post-processing framework and you have the shader graph, which you can use right now. Um, these packages are in preview, so your title will say preview packages in use. So um, I guess you shouldn't use it on productive systems but in the near future, they will upgrade it. So that's everything I got for you. Um, I got some issues uh, by upgrading. One was that everything, uh, so that not every material was modified directly. And one thing that you could should have a look at it as well is the camera. I had a negative death in one of my project and uh, this was one problem, uh, it should be positive, uh, especially if you use uh, post-processing framework.